Hi friends, it's Mrs. Golding. I'm back with Math Packet page 13. And um, when I left you, I suggested that you find the mean of your data, um, your mean speed, so um, your average speed. So I said, let's add all those up and divide by the number of data there are, which is 12. So when you added them up, what did you get? Did you get 340? That's what I got, 340. And I'm gonna divide that, come on now. I'm gonna divide that by 12. I wonder if I can choose a different pin, that one, let's see. Okay, 12, 24, goes in here twice, 24 with 10 left over, Maybe 10 left over, bring down a zero, 12 goes into 100, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, um, 12 times seven is 84, 12 times eight is 96. So let's go here, 96 with four left over, bring down another zero, annex a zero, we're gonna add a decimal point, 12, 24, 36 with four left over. It looks like that's gonna repeat. So 28.3 repeating is the average speed that I got. So I am going to erase this information down here because it's kind of covering up what we're doing. So my average is 28.3 repeating or just 28 miles per hour, right? Miles per hour, miles per hour, okay, is my average or my mean. Um, the other thing that we can use on here um, uh, is the mode. And this um, set of data is called bimodal. Unimodal is like a unicycle, it has one wheel. Bimodal has two modes. A trimodal has three modes. I remember teaching this in class one time, and I was saying, so if something is a bicycle has two wheels, so bimodal has two modes, right? So then what do you call a set of data that has three modes? And this kid raises his hand, he goes, a tricycle. I'm like, yeah, makes sense, right? <laughs> this is why I love being a teacher, because you never know what you're going to hear. Bimodal, the two modes are 30 and 35. They each have a frequency of three, correct? Okay, so it's bimodal. Um, the other question that we have to answer on this page says, you call the Smithsonian National Zoo. I've actually been there. It's amazing. They have the coolest pandas. Um, you get more information to add. And so now you have 68 animals. Um, so that would be N equals 68. And they go from 0 0.15 miles per hour. That's super slow. What could that be? Like a sloth or turtle? I don't know. Um, up to 70 miles per hour, maybe like a cheetah. Um, I don't know, very many things that go fast. Um, and it says you might, why might you not want to use a dot plot to represent your new larger sample? So my sample or my N, uh, my number of observations is high at 68, right? When I have a large um, sample of data, a better way of representing that is with a histogram. So I can show frequency and I can show um, variation in my data. I can show distribution better. Remember that normal distribution um, and things like that. You can imagine that it, it has some tails, right? If I were to put it on a, a histogram, there would be some really high numbers and some really low numbers. Um, I wonder if most of them would still fall where we are at a mean of about 28. I don't know. It would be definitely affected. Um, the mean might go up or it might go down. It'd be interesting to know. But um, hopefully that helps you answer this question. And um, we'll see you next time.